In this video, we'll see some examples of how to combine some given functions. This time around, we're given functions not as formulas, but as a table of values. Now, there might be some underlying formula that gives us these values of f and g, but we don't know what that formula might be, so all we know about these two functions is what happens when we plug in negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, and so on. So that still lets us answer some questions about these functions. But just to make sure we understand how to read this table, let's do a table first. Let's evaluate f of 0. So the first row of this chart tells us the various possible values of x. And what we do when we want to find f of 0 is we find the uh, column of the table that corresponds to x equals 0. And then we look at the row corresponding to f of x, and we say, okay, so positive 1, that's what happens to f when x is 0. So all we have to do is look in our chart, and we see that f of 0 equals 1. Okay, now let's do something a little bit more complicated. Let's evaluate f plus g of negative 2. Now there's a lot of parentheses flying around here, but all f plus g of negative 2 means, all that means, is f of negative 2 plus g of negative 2. So the idea here is that f plus g is a new function that's related to f and g. And the rule for the f plus g function is you take whatever you're trying to plug into f plus g, you plug that into f, you also plug it into g, and you take your two answers and you add them together. So when we try to plug negative 2 into the f plus g function, what happens is we get f of negative 2 plus g of negative 2. And to find those values, we just look in our chart. So since we're plugging in negative 2, we want to look at the negative 2 column of our chart. And what we're showing here is that f of negative 2 is 3, and g of negative 2 turns out to just be negative 2, and 3 plus negative 2 is positive 1. And that's our answer. This time we want f minus g of 2. And again, the idea here is that f minus g is a function, and the rule for f minus g is you take that number 2 and you plug it into both f and g separately, and you take the answers that you get and you subtract them. So to figure out what f of 2 is, we're going to look at the x equals 2 column of our chart. We see there that f of 2 is 0, and that g of 2 is 1, and 0 minus 1 is negative 1. This time we want f times g of negative 1, and again it's the same idea. f times g is a function, and the rule for f times g is you take what you plug into f times g, and you plug that separately into f and g. And what you do with the two answers that you get, this time, is you multiply them. In our chart, we're looking at the x equals negative 1 entry, and what we see there is that f of negative 1 is negative 2, and that g of negative 1 is 8, and negative 2 times 8 is negative 16. One last example, f divided by g of 3, and again the idea here is that f divided by g is a function, and the rule for f divided by g is you take that thing that you're plugging into f divided by g, and you plug it into f, and you plug it into g, and you do that separately, and then you take the two answers that you get, and you divide them. We're looking at the x equals 3 column of our table. f of 3 is 6, g of 3 is negative 1, and 6 divided by negative 1 is negative 6.